It, Chapter 2, is of course a sequel to the movie based on the Stephen King novel, and it's got a great cast, including Bill Hader and James McAvoy. Ahem. And Jessica Chastain. Who the hell is... <gasps> oh. Since we last saw the members of the Losers Club, they all moved away from the town of Derry, all except for Mike. At the end of the first movie, the seven friends made a promise to come back to their hometown if Pennywise the Clown was still alive. And when the murderer cycle starts to repeat itself, Mike knows that Pennywise has come out of hibernation and he has to make a few phone calls. Mike, I mean, not the clown. Chapter 1 was pretty damn good. Apart from those really annoying jump scares, I thought it was great. But don't forget, this is based on a Stephen King novel. Wait, what? Shut up. First of all, the casting of this film is just perfect. I totally buy that these actors are the adult versions of the kids from the first movie. And across the board, the performances are great. But the ones that stood out to me were Bill Hader as Richie and James Ransone as Eddie, who are also the funniest of the group and really great at recreating their younger counterparts, especially Bill Hader. Bill Skarsgård's Pennywise is still the creepiest movie clown I've ever seen, but just like in the first movie, he loses some of that creepiness when he's completely CG. When he's allowed to act without any ad special effects, that's when he's the most impacting. I also thought the cinematography was very well done and the editing was excellent. There are some really creative and beautiful scene transitions in this movie, especially in the beginning. But like I mentioned, this is a Stephen King adaptation and he notoriously struggles with endings. It's something that becomes kind of a running joke in this movie. At some point, Mr. King himself brings it up in a small cameo. And while I have to admit I thought that was kind of funny, it's also kind of true. I really like this story, but the fact of the matter is the first half with the kids is a lot more compelling than its continuation. That's a made up word. What is? Continuation? Oh my god, was I talking? I get that the story is not something you simply change because it's still Stephen King we're talking about. But the pacing of this movie is a different story because holy fuck it's relentless and not in a good way. The first movie had the advantage of the screenplay which was half written by Kerry Fukunaga who also did Maniac and True Detective. The studio decided to go a different way and it changed a lot of things but the core of the screenplay stayed the same. Chapter 2 however is solely written by Gary Doberman who's also responsible for the Nun and the Annabelle movies. And I think the movie suffered from that, because from the moment the gang gets back to Derry, the story takes somewhat of a backseat, and the movie becomes a series of scary things happening, with very little in between. Now some of those moments are great, but some not so much. For example, there's this really good scene beneath the bleachers of a ball game. It's shot beautifully, Skarsgård is extremely creepy and it felt like a real horror film. It feels very much like that scene from the trailer with Bev and the old lady. It's really well done and I wanted a lot more of that level of horror. But this is not the case. Most of the horror scenes involve a lot of CG and very little subtlety. After a while, it just becomes one scare after another. Especially in the third act, where it felt more like a Nightmare on Elm Street kind of horror. It's still pretty fun and it looks cool, but showing a monster every few minutes gets a little ineffective. I got a little bored of the scary stuff after a while because A. It felt like I was stuck in a haunted house for 7 hours and B. That's impossible. Shut up. What? And B. Wait, what was B? Penis. I don't know, we'll say B was shut up. The story of it is all about confronting your fear, and just like every person, the fears that you have as a child are not the same as the ones you have as an adult. They're a little more psychological and complex, and I would have liked to have seen Pennywise the Clown take on a more refined form of fucking with our heroes. I did really enjoy this movie, it has some great moments, and I look forward to seeing these movies back to back, but it's just not as good as it could have been. So it, chapter 2, gets 4 out of 6. So how do you feel about- God damn it! What? Who are you, Earl Butts? I don't know who that- What the fuck? <laughs> Did you see- <sighs> Typical.